six seven he, three pointer nights. He honestly is. Chris Paul penetrates all the way to the hole, brings it back to Blake. Fake one way, go oh, the other oh. for like three different moves. Direct feed. JJ. Yeah. Third try, got a bounce. And think about it. JJ's had some games in this recent spell where he's had balls rattle in and go out. He's been on the unlucky side. Tonight gets that one to go. Uh oh. This is the basketball. Can't just throw it to the other team. <laughs> Beautiful move to the goal. Blake kind of pointed to his mind right there after he scored. Like, yeah, that's how I need to play. Play smart, but play strong. Griffin for three. Bingo. That's that yeah. four man knocking down the three ball. Unheard of. You know, just a decade ago. Redding steps inside the three-point circle and knocks down his fifth mid-range jump shot. See if they go right back to this little pick. There it is again. Hunt for the lead. Something like that. No. Off the glass, bank it in. It looked more like a Blake and Collins play, honestly. Collision, no whistle, 10 on the clock. Backs down. Good look for JJ. Bingo. Not often that JJ has to take a dribble, but the pass was so low, he opted for a rhythm dribble to get his feet set, and what a first half shooting performance he's putting on. Four in the shot clock. CP3 can have to do it himself. Well, Griffin Wool, he got it off in time. Bingo! How about that? Well, how about the way he's been shooting lately? The two for three, then go. Keep Gilchrist had 40 rebounds the last three games. Down low, Griffin running oh. to the rim. Timeout taken by Charlotte. They've had a terrible start to the period, except for the first five points. Blake has it against Williams. Too big, too strong, too good. But I like how that move started. Paul works his way down the lane. Blake, two ball. Gets the rebound. JJ for three. Bottled monster jam by Blake Griffin. What a follow. Griffin will get a touch now. Beautiful move. How easily you can score. I mean, beautiful move. He had to get a touch. Doc called the timeout, said, let's get him the ball. Griffin. In the final two minutes. Looks to DeAndre. Boy, he was there. They couldn't get it to him. Griffin for three. Bingo! Blake Griffin, a huge three. His third of the night. Clippers lead by two. Clippers by two. Passing your seat belts. We're going down the wire. Griffin fly to the goal score and get fouled. Free throw is good to the delight of the crowd. Clippers by five. 48 seconds to go. Here come the Hornets in a hurry. Kemba Walker going to where they've lost 12 of the last 14 games. Walker for three. Bingo! Don't go away yet. Here's Paul. You're already late. Six. Tough shot from the corner. Uh -oh. oh, here comes Walker. Rivers retreats and fouls. Oh, he could have made that, well, that would and have been had disaster. a free throw for the lead. Can he tie the game now? Yes, he can. Give him credit. Seat belts fastened as tight as you can get them. 11 seconds to go, tie ball game. Look where they're going. I love Paul it. Paul works here against Walker. Four, three, two, jump shot for the win. No! Overtime. Here's Paul. Hands it off to Reddick. Good hard bounce pass right at the rim to Blake Griffin. Pretty play. The Griffin against Batum. Batum is everywhere defensively. Got the foul. Paul to Blake Griffin. Hard to the goal. Foul is blocked. And a foul is called. Free throws for Blake Griffin. Bounce. Goal. Falls in. Clippers by a point. They get it to Walker. Hounded by Paul, throws the ball wildly away, gets the ball to Griffin, ahead to Paul, he'll lay it up, the follow by Jordan is thrown down, oh, and the game is over, and the LA Clippers win a squeaker. We're going to have to learn some lessons from this one for sure, you'd rather learn a lesson in a win than in a loss, and that is the situation here, the Clippers final tally, 124 to 121 over a courageous group of Hornets playing without some key players and then losing two more, Kid Gilchrist and Kaminsky to fouls. Uh, that's really quite a job. By the Hornets, but the Clippers get the victory by a final tally in overtime of 124 to 121. Heroes 
all over the court for both these basketball teams. Griffin with 43. Jordan 20 and 19. Paul 15 points and 17 assists. And here's Christina Payne. Thank you, Ralph. Well, uh, the Hornets did not make it easy on you guys sending this one to overtime, but how were you guys able to close this one out late in a back and forth battle? Uh, we ended up getting stops late, you know, or a big stop when we needed it. Um, I honestly didn't even see what, what happened on that last one, but, um, you know, sometimes you just need, need a stop, sometimes you need to get lucky, and um, you know, I think we did both. Your free throw helped put this one away, but you made big plays on both ends, the rebounds and the scoring. You finished with 43 points, a season high for you. What allowed you to get going, especially in the final minutes of this game? Uh, just our offense. I mean, we, we, we were running our offense really well. Guys were hitting shots, um, so they couldn't really double. Um, you know, and, and, you know, some of them fell, but you know, I got to do a better job down the stretch hitting free throws um, to close out games. How much of a difference does it have? Does, is it having Chris Paul on the floor in the final minutes of a game? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, a guy like that's irreplaceable. Um, so to have him out there kind of directing traffic, uh, the big guy right here, 